What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. When judges hear divorce cases in courthouses like this one, they have to make a decision. How much will one partner pay the other after the split and for how long? In a small percentage of cases, judges choose to make those payments permanent. It's something one woman tells me helped her live a normal life, but another man says it brought him to the brink of suicide. Oh my gosh. Permanent? All right, let's talk about the new Florida alimony law and how it may catch fire in other Republican-led states. The I'm measure all for big hair, but that's almost too big. ...was called SB 1416, and it's a bill that not even Rick Scott, the former Republican governor, would sign. But DeSantis signed it on June 30th, and it became law on July 1st. It ends permanent alimony. Now, nice. that sounds terrible, and it is terrible for the women of Florida who were counting on having permanent alimony because it's mostly going to affect older women. But there are only seven states in which permanent alimony exists anyway, and those are Connecticut, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oregon, Vermont, and West Virginia. This law caps durational alimony at three years and rehabilitation of alimony at five years. And as always, alimony is terminated if the receiving spouse gets remarried. Nice. Here's the part where it gets a little tricky. This new law also allows a judge to modify prior alimony agreements. And they can modify those based on the age, health, and motivation for retirement of the payer. And it also puts the burden of continuing to prove that you need alimony on the recipient. So even though alimony may have been decided at the time of divorce, it can now be challenged over and over and over again. Now, wow, only about 10% of divorces end in alimony in the first place. You have to be married pretty much more than 20 years for a judge to really seriously consider it. 400,000 people currently across the nation are on alimony, and 98% of them are women. Shocker. Now, with the abrupt ending of permanent alimony and some of these changes and ability to legally challenge things, older women in Florida are saying this new law is going to absolutely ruin their lives. Not to mention you've absolutely ruined a lot of other men's lives, man. What are you talking about going to ruin your life? You've already ruined a bunch of other men's of lives, man. Like, come on. Momentous decision by Governor Rhonda Sanchez. Shout out to him. A profound sense of disillusionment can be observed as the same women who claim to be strong and independent mm -hmm. can no longer use divorce as their retirement plan. Because of this, there has been outrage flooding social media. However, there are some women who support this. We are strong, independent women. We don't need no man. Women also. <laughs> yeah. There's an outcry over taking away lifetime alimony. <laughs> this is what you're good. I'm sorry, I don't feel bad for him. Let so me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think it's a good thing they ended, they ended this lifetime alimony? I didn't know it was a lifetime alimony. That's unreal. You're telling me for the rest of your life, I got to pay for your little snot nose butt? Like, come on. Today's war on women. Ron DeSantis signed war a bill. War on women. Really? You think it's a war on women? Stop it. To end permanent alimony. Let's be honest. Who Wait, this is that a little cat thing in the back? <laughs> she got a cat? Here, I'll, I'll screen it so you guys. Is that a little cat carrier? <laughs> I'm pretty sure she got a cat in the back. Majorly affects senior citizen women living in Florida. And there's a lot of senior citizen women living in Florida, depending on alimony. What and about the senior citizen men having to depend on their own retirement and their own funds and their own hard work? What about those men? Why don't we, why aren't we talking about them? The reasons they were awarded permanent alimony awarded. are various, right? Some women have disabled children that they couldn't go out and work. So the judge awarded the woman permanent alimony because of this. There are so many reasons why a woman would be awarded permanent alimony. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? I, I don't think anybody should get permanent alimony. I feel like that's egregious. And for the example that she's putting, that seems like a, such a small percentage where a woman would have a disabled child or a disabled son or daughter where they would have to stay at home and take care of them. That seems like such a small percentage, especially since it's only 10% of women. Um, and there's only 400,000 people across the United States. I think that's the number they said. But like, I feel like that's such a small percentage. Let me know what you think. Well, once again, we see the patriarchy making legal decisions that oppress women. You're oppressed, really. How can you have a cell phone, full access to the internet, have running water, you can buy your food at a grocery store. Men are the truck drivers that take that to those stores. You can just buy all of that, you can have a job, and you're oppressed? What? Designed to inflict harm and perpetuate hatred against women, find its, its way to approval. 
It's a bewildering truth that demands our attention. Regrettably, it appears many remain blind to the harsh reality. Despite the fact that the significant majority of divorces are initiated by women, society seems unwilling to acknowledge that women are capable of misdeeds. To 80 After Christoph Leibrecht and his wife split, he says the judge's ruling was devastating. What they want is 10,300 per month permanent alimony. It's a cost Leibrecht says he had no way of paying. And after draining his $2 million inheritance, Leibrecht says it wasn't enough. Or the lawyer needs 10 grand a month. Chat, let me know. Do you guys think you could afford at that age 10 grand a month to a woman? Brothers, no way. $5,000. Um, you have a $55,000 perch. So they took my house. 12 days in jail is what Leibrecht says he got for not being able to pay his court-ordered alimony payments. Now he lives in Maine, where he hopes lawyers won't come after him. This whole process literally did bring me to the brink of suicide. Senate Bill 1922 would not only make permanent alimony illegal, it would also cancel Librex payments retroactively. In a world where the security God. of prenuptial agreements appears rock solid, there is a chilling truth lurking in the shadows. Prenups are thrown out when it matters most during a divorce, all the time because they aren't drafted to hold up in a court of law. Hiring an experienced attorney is critical to ensure your prenup is solid and enforceable. Wow, good to know. These contracts, intended to safeguard one's assets, can crumble under the relentless scrutiny of the court. That's wild, but I also bro. spoke with Jan Killily, who says permanent alimony actually saved her after her divorce. I was married 25 years and gave up a career to raise a family in a traditional marriage. Killily started a website advocating for women like herself. She doesn't want the bill to take away the payments that helped her rebuild her life. I know how difficult it is to reinvent yourself at 50 years old. But with why a did you leave your man? Why did you divorce your husband? He gave you a beautiful life. It sounds like he provided for you for 25 years. Why are you leaving him at 50? 25 year old and you notice how like notice how these women speak about it well i gave up these years i gave up a career really does this sound like she had her best intentions at heart when she's talking about giving up something no she got to invest in a marriage she got to invest in a family but that's how a lot of these modern women think somebody want a chunola shout out to uh purina for these chunolas free wait free free Place. Um, that's, it's just the way she's speaking about it. It's such a negative connotation where she's like, I had to give up a career. I had to give up all of this. Did you really have to give something up? It sounded like you got to have a family. You got to stay at home. Like you should be blessed that you got to, got to have all that. Like what? Such an odd connotation to speak about that in. It's evident when they get divorced, they seek a financial extortion yeah. so they can live their lives devoid of basic responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Do not let them fool you. They are perfectly capable of providing for themselves, but they choose not to. Instead, they opt for the corrupt justice system to drag their ex-husbands through hell and back and extort him for the rest of his life. That's wild. Let's take a brief moment to just appreciate this for what it really is, shall we? So a man likes a woman so much that he's willing to spend his own hard-earned money to fly her out to see him. Now, I'm sure a lot of women... Hey, I'm going to keep it a buck. If she's flying out to me, I better beat them cheeks. Okay? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Let me know, chat. If, a, if you're flying a girl out, do you expect to beat... Bro, I better be beating the second you get up in the crib. Oh, shit. I better oh, not shit. be waiting. The clothes better be on the flow. We getting to business. I'm not about to buy you a plane ticket and not beat the cheeks. You must be out your mind would be rather flattered and very appreciative of the amount of effort that a man is willing to put in just to see her and to spend some time with her. But no, in this case, it seems that someone is wanting to put their full audacity on display on the internet for everyone to see by complaining about the airline that was chosen because somehow- I mean, spirit is kind of, <laughs> spirit's awful. <laughs> To be fair. That airline wasn't up to their high standards. It's no well, small. Baby girl, your your spirit airline's coochie. Shots fired. That's Shots what it is. Fired. <laughs> Life is a mirror, not a window. 
No wonder that a lot of men aren't putting forth the effort that a lot of women wish that they would, or any effort at all, because this is the reaction that they are getting and that they are seeing. I didn't like his beard, so I took matters into my own hands. No. No. Bro, I'd be so mad. He was devastated. I would be so mad. Why would you do that? What if I took that and I cut your hair off? I told you I didn't like your beard. Ooh, it's the pink hair for me. And I'm just, it, it looks like she's a big back, big back. Like, so you got the pink hair, poisonous frog in the Amazon, avoid these women like the plague, and then she does something like this, bro. Uh-uh, immediate breakup. I'm really surprised a guy like that went for a girl like that. This is obviously so messed up, and the amount of self-control that that man displays is honestly worrisome because it tells me that this is not the first time something completely inappropriate like this has happened. Facts. And this man already made all of the good points because he's right. If he had done this to her, it would be seen as abusive. And on top of that, there is literally no woman in the world that would remain this calm if her husband or boyfriend or loved one did this to her. She would flip out because we all know that this is absolutely crossing a line. But what's most worrisome wow. is that her display of control over his physical features, she doesn't understand that it's not okay, even when she's listening to all of the solid points he's making. That is a woman that is never going to see the logic. Bro, and I that feel is sorry. wild to me, man. That is absolutely Congratulations wild. Congratulations to you, man. I would freak out if Cass did that to me. But she wouldn't do that to me. That's what's beautiful. Um, another video about Ron DeSantis talking about um, the fact that he, when this actually happened, let's see here. Because I think this happened a while ago, to be honest with you. Shockwaves through the state. Governor Ron DeSantis finally caved to pressure and signed a measure that ruthlessly overhauls Florida's alimony laws. This decision, which comes after three previous vetoes and a decade of bitter battles, wow. effectively eliminates what is known as permanent alimony. The measure has sent the members of the First Wives Advocacy Group into a frenzy consisting mostly of older women who rely on these alimony payments for their very livelihoods. With this heartless approval, DeSantis has callously disregarded their pleas and condemned them to a future of upheaval and uncertainty. Go get a freaking job! I'm sorry, but I don't think another man should have to foot the bill for your entire, like, existence when you get older. Like, what is that? It's, it's it's basically just woman support. It's child support for a grown woman that acts like a child. Like, what is that? So a bunch of women in Florida are pissed off at Ron DeSantis because he's taking away their alimony. She's that old and still got the pierce. That's why you can, man, you can take the woman out the streets, but you can't take the streets out the woman. Shots fired! Shots! It's truly sad. Wearing that at that age? Somebody's grandma. One. Do you think he's preparing for his own divorce? Two. I find it fascinating that all these women who have been voting for a hundred years against their own self-interest are shocked when it finally affects them. Okay. Because you know what? Half of Florida are old people. Yeah, it's a lot of people that can actually They're afford like to there, live buddy. there. Goodness gracious. Like, this woman is somebody's grandmother acting like that. Like, come on. Take the nose ring out. She's got her got her shirt all open. Like, goodness gracious. Bro, this whole alimony thing is wild to me. The fact that there was a law at one point in time where they say, hey, you know what? If, if she divorces you, because more than likely she's going to, you got to pay her for the rest of her life. Permanent alimony? Are you kidding me? That's absolutely wild, dude. Loki, is that good? You like it? He really likes those uh, those chunolas. If if you do have a dog, the chunolas are basically like a granola bar for a dog. But no, dude, it's absolutely wild to me that at one point in time somebody passed a law that said, "Hey, you know what? 
Child support's cool, whatever, we'll do that. But you know what? Why don't we pay the wives too? Can you imagine? There's men out there right now having to pay alimony and child support. That's wild to me. I know child support's much more prevalent because, you know, a lot of people have kids, but alimony usually have to be married, you know, like like they said in the video, 20 to 25 years. I don't know anybody on alimony. Let me know in the comments. Do you know anybody on alimony? Do you know anybody having to pay that to an ex-wife or something like that? Imagine you had been married twice and both your marriages were like 20, 25 years and you were on alimony for both women. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> God, that'd be terrible. That'd be absolutely terrible. I think we should ban that. And you know what? I think for child support, what we should do is you should have to show receipts on what you're spending the money on. I think if a man is paying a woman child support, so let's keep it a buck. Most of the time, it's a guy paying it to a woman. That's just how it is. A woman should have to keep a log and track her receipts of what she's spending every single dime on. That way, she can't go buy her own shoes. She can't go get her hair done. She can't go get her nails done. Because a lot of these women are going out and they're taking that child support check and they'll buy little Timmy something, but then they'll go out and get a perm. They'll go out and get their nails done. They'll go out to Chick-fil-A and buy the kids something, but to buy them something. No, 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 no. I want that money only spent on that child. I don't want it spent on you at all. I don't want, I don't want movies where you get to go. I want them to get to go with their friends. Go spend it on the kid and their friend. I don't want you to spend it on you at all. But that's where a lot of these women, that's why they want that child support. They're greedy. They're like, mm, give me that. Because they take that money then, and then they spend it on themselves. That's the problem I have. That's where we should keep up with where that money is being spent, and I think that would solve a big issue. I think that would incentivize women to want to stay with their men. Because like I've said in previous episodes, we have incentivized single motherhood, and we've subsidized single motherhood in this country where women would rather marry the government than stay faithful and marry and love a man. Because they're like, well, hell, I can go out and have this guy's babies, and then I can go get a check from him, and the more baby daddies I have, the more money I get. She's a runner, she's a track star. So it's in her best interest to belong to the streets and just have as many baby daddies as possible and as many as many kids in fatherless homes. We've talked about this many a times, dude, but I'll, I'll bring it back up because I feel like these points need to be redundant. This is why I post every single day because I feel like if we want to make a societal change, we have to talk about this every single day. Redundancy breeds change, and if we aren't redundant and we aren't repetitive in our messaging, we're never going to see any change. But, like, look at this. 63% of youth, youth uh, unalivings are from fatherless homes. 90% of all homeless and runaway children are fatherless homes. 80% of all children who show behavior disorders from, are from fatherless homes. 80% of R words. 71% of all high school dropouts. 75% of as, uh, adolescent patients in chemical abuse centers. 70% of juveniles in state operated institutions. 85% of all youth sitting in prisons. Like, but the list goes on and on. Teens without involved fathers are twice as likely to drop out of school. Girls raised in fatherless homes are twice as likely to become pregnant before the age of 18. Single, uh, teens from single parent households are more likely to engage in delinquent behavior. Adolescents without involved fathers are at a higher risk of experiencing them. And the thing is, is these women are the one uh, wrecking their own homes. 70 to 80 percent of women divorce men and then it, it jumps up to 90 percent of women divorce men if they have a college education. So the, that means the more educated she is, the more likely she is to leave you, bro. It's so crazy. This is why you gotta you have to vet correctly. You need to be with her for a while. You need to meet her family. You need to meet her friends. You need to see every single side of her personality and emotional spectrum that you can in the time that you're with each other. Happy, glad, mad, sad, gleeful, uh, furious, every single side of the spectrum of emotion. You need to be able to see that. And you need to be communicative to an, a point of exhaustion. You need to talk so much that you even know what she's gonna say before she says it. Because if you don't, then you don't know what's going to happen when something comes up and she reacts crazy. You're going to be like, well, I didn't know what to expect. It's because you didn't vet correctly. And a lot of that comes down to being with a woman for a certain amount of time. I think the older you are, the, sometimes the shorter it gets. But I think young guys, 20 to 30, bro, three to five years. Three to five years minimum you need to be with these women. Honestly, shoot for five because you're going to see a, a whole wide of a spectrum. And the thing is, if she's willing to be your girlfriend for five years and not cheat on you, more than likely, she's willing to be your wife. I'm just saying, if she's willing to give up some of the best years of her life to be with you, boom. And then you also have two passageways when it comes to getting with a woman. You can either find her when you're a villager, you're both peasants and you're both villagers and you build the kingdom together, you're a king, she's your queen, great. But if you've built the kingdom, don't dare let a little villager woman come up and be a princess and steal all the gold that you've accumulated. Do not do that. Do not give that up. 
Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. It'll be right there in the description. The Four Steps to Style ebook is done. I'm just having an issue with Teespring of uploading it, so shout out to Teespring uh, for, for the cuck fest I'm getting from them. It is what it is, whatever. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have fun? He's just stuffing his face. Um, <laughs> but I really do appreciate you guys, man. Mad love to all you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.